I'm going to try a test video. The thing that I'm doing. Oh boy, this is going to suck. So, I bought some Grover, mini Grover tuners, Rotomatics, used from, uh, you know, eBay. And they appear to be covered in like, lacquer or. It's not grime, it's not schmutz, but it also is. Um, so anyways, I'm taking these things apart, and I'm cleaning them up. <clears throat> I got this thing for the whole set with the original screws for cheap. And so, yeah, that's the plan. So I've done three of them already, and I figured I would take a video of me taking them apart and putting them back together. So, first screw in the top. In one of them, there was a washer inside there. Oh, I think it's, there is one. Yep, there it is. So, keep those two together. Oh, is it a locking washer? It is. So that goes to that, to that. I'm gonna put this shit out of the way. And that. Yeah, you're nasty. Okay, and then one of these type of dealies. And then a regular washer. And then nylon gasket and then we have this so there is movement in this now this is a closed back tuner and my cool fret nut vice anyways I am just being this guy in the shot a little better but I'm just being this guy and I am hacking at the back of these closed back tuners and taking that little dome cover off whoops showing it to myself so I got that out and now my nasty ass, packed with grease for lifetime. Yes, I accept that, however. There's so much movement in that because that screw came a quarter turn loose. Well, yeah, once all this other shit's back on, that thing doesn't move, and now this thing's pretty much locked in there. However, I'm not here to just tighten that a quarter turn. Oh, no. There's that screw. I'll move you out of the way. Now this part comes out. There's the gear. No, no chunks of shit came out. And then... This bit here comes out through the bottom. <clears throat> now hold on. There's also another gasket in there. Nope, no, it's left it's stuck inside or it's gone, but I think it's stuck inside. Oh, there it is. Some fucking cinematography right here, huh? There it is. So anyways, hook that thing out. Come on, you bastard. Alright. And there, I'm taking them all apart. That one... That one goes on the end of here. So that, yeah, 
so that when that point goes back up and in here, this edge rubs up against this edge. Anyways, <clears throat> so now the cleaning process. I could use and have the thoughts use naphtha, but like whereas most of this shit is covered in either grease or schmutz that needs to be scraped off. I know I said it wasn't schmutz, but it, technically it is. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, about using, excuse me, paper towels. So, I mean, yeah, for example, just scrubbing this bad boy. Scrubbing, just wiping the shit off of it. It would appear that this thing is made out of brass. It matches my ring. So, here's that part. I just kind of like cleaned off the gear, like got the the majority of the, sh the shit off of it, and then just use a toothbrush. And scrub all the shit out of the gears. And then my move, I mean, I, this is a tape, this, uh, my bench is a, a door, an old solid core door from the 50s. Uh, and then there's cardboard on top of that, and then some pew leather. Um, so anyways, it's like a softish kind of surface is what I'm getting at. And I just do this. With paper towels. And it gets it gets most of the shit like right off of there. Um it doesn't do as much for the edge, which is an issue, so I'm kinda just rubbing the edges. The other move. Yeah, I clean it up pretty good. So I mean I'm yeah. I'm just detailing and scrubbing all of the shit off. A new set of mini Grovers, it's like 60 bucks, and they're new, and there's no bullshit, for sure. But the guitar that these are intended for is like a early 2000s bronze series uh, Mockingbird, and I'm replacing the economy tuners on it and I don't want to put brand new fucking Grovers on it I just want you know I wanted a set of used tuners the guitar is fine but it doesn't need like brand new tuners so yeah here is some of the the thing where there's the shit no, it's not even that bad actually but I've just been using a utility knife, like trying to just use a little bit of the flat surface on it to scrape away the shit. Yeah, it looks like the the previous, I don't know, who whomever, uh, like sprayed lacquer or some shit, or Paul, uh, I feel like it's lacquer, sprayed some shit on their guitar while the tuners were all still on it, and you can really tell. You can really tell. <clears throat> Granted, I might be a little cuckoo to be uh, going through all this work for a set of old tuners. However, I'm really a proponent of salvaging things. You know, these tuners already exist. What are they going to do? Fucking throw them away? And then what? That was a waste of the whole experience? Or I can take some time, gussy them up, put them on my guitar. And my guitar is like a little bit sweeter to me because every time I go to tune it... Oh yeah, there we go. You can see some of that thin coating of shit that's on these. And yes... This blade's maybe a little bit aggressive, and I'm probably scratching the shit out of the chrome, but I'm also not, you know? Like, my fingers 
are going to scratch the shit out of the chrome because I have pretty calloused hands and carpentry and shit. Um, you know what I mean? Like me doing what I just did probably scratches it up as much. I say that, but you're really just watching me destroy these tuners, scratching them unnecessarily, mercilessly. Um, anyways, there's the top. Oh, yeah. So, this screw looks a little bit rough. I'm going on it with some micro mesh, 1500 grit paper, to really try to shine and spiff that up. However, Sometimes when the Phillips head threads get a little bit tired, I like to a couple of light passes and I'm spinning as I go. And yeah, it takes off some of the surface of the pan head, but it gives you a lot more surface to for the, the screw head the whatever. So the Phillips tip fits in there better. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want to do this whole fucking video on silence because, you know, silence makes me uncomfortable. So I'll just yap about bullshit. Um, I mean, this is... This is it. Normally there would be a Ted Woodford video or... Uh, wrestle talk video on just today. Just today, after all these years, I discovered the angry video game nerd, and my god, that fucking guy gets it. Um, his use of swearing is uh, unparalleled, and I love how, even as old as those episodes are. His cursing is just general cursing. He didn't say anything that's like offensive or dated or whatever. It's just calling things fucks and stupid shits. And I mean, he says a lot of kind of gross shit, but it's funny. And it's not, you know, it's just gross like uh, the way that we were gross when we were playing Nintendo games. Because I was eight. It was funny. Anyways. That dude's fucking hilarious. I listened to that shit all day. I was doing, uh... Doing finished carpentry stuff. And... I just put it on. Had my phone set to YouTube. And it was playing the video in my back pocket. But, uh, I was only listening to the audio. Goddamn. Dude's funny shit. So... I'm just trying to, like, get a lot of the bulk of the shit out of there. Because then, it, I mean, I have the 3M. Yeah, man, just roughing it up, and then some fucking elbow grease is really going a long way. I'm not going to get, like, clear the shit out of the word Grover. Because I don't care. <laughs> um, I really, really don't. Like, as meticulous as I'm being, that I promise it's not going to bother me. The battle scars, as well as the other ones. All these ones that I'm causing. By scraping flush against this cast chrome. Well, these are probably cast aluminum coated in chrome. Probably how that works. It's getting better. So, let's see. Jam some paper towel in here and try and clean out some of that fucking grease. Oh, let's see it. Nice, nice. Disgusting. It's like fucking earwax. Alright, the other paper. The, uh, this is actually one of the recommended uses of a cotton swab. To clean out seal back tuners. 
Look at that though. So get the last bit of shit out of it. All right. Well, fuck, man. I think I got all the parts clean. So now I'll slap it back together. So. Oh, fuck. Did I lose a piece? I did. Nope, I didn't. Fucking A. Ooh, I didn't clean it yet. That last little gasket that I was searching for and I pulled out with the uh, dental tool. I'm gonna fucking need that. So. You fucker, I can get in there. Alright. So, there's that. That slides through in here. And you can see where that thing, you know. Yeah, you can feel it makes a difference if it's not in there. That bit on the black is inset and not as flush as it is. So, anyways, there's that part. Then it's the gasket. Then it's the metal washer. Then it's that funky kind of spring washer. Then it's the tuner key. Then it's this combination of the screw with that washer. Let's go in. I don't want to go crazy cranking it, but you know, tighten it up. Okay. No shit in there yet. So now, nice, clean. Clean, clean. Drop that in there. This guy comes in through the other side. Oh, and there's a... Uh, <clears throat> see the square part there. Mm -hmm. Let's see that square part. Anyways, these two fuckers key together. They only go one way. So, dump that in the hole. Oh, you fuck. There. So that one goes in and twists it until they lock in. My last screw here. Screw this thing. I'm not gonna go crazy, but I'm gonna make it worth my time. So now this tuner functions pretty good. Like with no juice in there, it's pretty smooth. However, yeah, this shit, jamming it in there. I mean, you're supposed to pack it with grease. So that it will remain for the lifetime. Oop. Last bit. Got to scrape this fucking thing. I'm not gonna put that back on all nasty looking after all that other work I just did, you know? So look, you can even see, it like does a good job, but then you can see the little bits of pieces that are still left on there. Yeah, there it is. There it is. So. So, that. Pop that fucker right in there. Wipe off that remaining grease. And 
then, now that it's like sealed, sealed in, just going around just to kind of break it in. I watched a video of Dan Erlewine just recently, probably just today. You know, it's a little bit loose, but it's way better. Um, and he made a jig for this, obviously. I'm just going to hold it because I only have three tuners left, so. Um, oop. Yeah, man. And then, like, for example, that's a straight up, like, black paint. And that's the, the washer, the beveled washer for the front. It's weird. I mean, it's not. Somebody had Grovers on their guitar and they wanted to mod it with some paint. Or, like, maybe the headstock broke and they put fresh paint on after they fucking glued it or something. Or maybe none of the above. <laughs> but, yeah, man. Did this uh, multiple times. So far tonight, probably going to stop for the night being halfway there, and I will uh, pick it up again in the morning, but Mockingbird rips. I wish that I had recorded a before audio sample with its stock pickups, the Bronze Series, because they're fine. It, I mean, the guitar ruled. It played great. I, I didn't need to do any of what I did to it, but it was like, oh, I like it so much I want to do a little bit to it. So, um, I put in a DiMarzio Super Distortion 2 in the neck position and a Seymour Duncan Invader in the bridge position. And goddamn, that guitar rules. Sounds great. One of the last things that was bugging me is two of the tuners that are the cheap economy tuners they are referred to as, made in Korea or whatever. Um, two of them have, like, a rattle. The guts inside are loose. And I could probably do the thing where I'm, like, what I'm doing with these. I'm taking them apart, tighten them, something. Just not interested. I'd rather upgrade to better tuners that are made of better components. So, there it is. This is the finished product compared to... Oh, there's another one of the nasty ones. Oh, here it is. So, yeah, I mean, I would say that I don't know what I would say. Time is money, but this is a fine use of my time. And, uh, I mean, on an hourly rate, it's probably cheaper for me to have gotten Grover's, brand new ones, but I'm going to get the job that I want more out of these ones. Plus, I get to bond with them a little bit, so. Anyways, there's one. i got three more of these ones to do, and then I'm going to put them on, said Mockingbird. But that's it for now, so. I will right, we'll come back with more videos because I'm feeling mildly invigorated. Peace.